amending the section 1-102 possible municipal code regarding public comment it looks like i sponsored that one our public comment at this moment in time with our standing rules is at the end of the meeting in the past we had public comment that was um, you could make comments on an item as it was up for discussion and now that you can <coughs> comments are not allowed prior to any uh, uh, votes being made until the <coughs> comment is at the end I'm requesting the council to reconsider uh, putting the public comment session at the front of the council meeting rather than the end of the council meeting. That is my motion. That would be first reading of an ordinance. Okay. Can you make a motion? Yes, ma'am. I'll second that motion. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on this item? Yes. I, I, yes, um, I originally introduced legislation uh, a few meetings back asking that public comment be moved to the front end of our meetings and the reason for the, my request at that time was to bring some order back to our meetings uh, whereby the citizens could speak to the council on agenda items prior to our deliberation and our votes. Uh, for the past year and a half, our meetings have been veering off base and have become very disorderly with citizens speaking up at all times. And in fact, it's become increasingly difficult for the council to, to conduct business in an orderly fashion in accordance with Robert's Rules of Order. And parliamentary procedure has uh, been basically thrown to the wayside. That being said, if this will help to uh, help us to bring some decorum and tact back to our meetings, I'm going to support moving the public comment to the front end of our council meetings. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm not going to support this motion because I think that this motion would improve the current situation. But I also think that this motion is a token thing towards what was taken away from the people to be able to speak during the agenda item. The people have a right to be heard believe that that's essential to be right to be heard we as a council have to suffer what the people <coughs> tell us we don't get to sit here and just listen to the people say we're doing a great job that's good we need to listen to everything we have to say and that includes the criticisms and this fails to address the issue with the workshops as well so I will address this in my in the next agenda item, but I will not support this mission because it's only a token effort to return to what we have. Mayor, I'd like to make a statement. Yes, sir. I personally do not feel like I suffer by any means whatsoever by listening to good or negative comments toward myself. I'm welcome to all comments that folks have to say. Look, the bad comes the good, or nobody's perfect, and if anybody has anything they'd like to say to me, I'm always available. Any other comments? <coughs> we have a motion and a second to move the public input towards the front of the meeting rather than the end of the meeting. <coughs> I'd like to amend that motion to say starting at the next meeting. Mayor, we'd have to have uh, three readings on this before it could pass because it's an ordinance, so it couldn't start until we've had those three readings. Oh, okay. And on the third reading, I, I would also need to present a change to the standing rules, which would just change at the end to at the beginning. Okay. Roll. Sorry. Well, the reason for that is because that's how our agenda is laid out in the charter, correct? Uh, it's, it, it's in the ordinance. It's a paper ordinance. Yes, <coughs> Motion fails. Next item on the agenda 
discussion and action on rescinding standing rules adopted March the 10th, 2016. So to move that, just a question, to move that one item in the, uh, that the motion had just failed we take three readings, but we read the, the whole standing rules that did not take three readings. That's correct. Um, ordinances require three readings. The standing rules are a resolution that can be passed on one reading. Send the March 10th, 2016 motion that rescinded that that rescinded the previous reading of the standing rules, and that we rescind the standing rules that exist today. The reason I'm doing this is I believe it's a point of order. There's no second. That's correct. I'll second that motion. Thank you. The reason is I believe it's an assault on the people's rights to express what they have to say. And I think that the absence of the workshops both encumbers the city and performance of the duties of the elected officials and exposes those those workshops or at the workshops they expose the inner makings and the inner works of the city as we discuss each and every agenda item. It allows us to have the staff there and discuss these things in length just like this ball the, the the last one that we just had on um, bulk cleanup, this should have been discussed out at a workshop. We didn't have that. The things that Mr. Smith asked tonight, we should have discussed that. That's what the workshops are for. And did not deny the people the right to speak is a grave error <coughs> on the part of the city government. And everybody should be able to address the issues. And while you can speak at the beginning, perhaps if it was passed, you don't know what's gonna be set up here. If we discuss this among the council or debate it among the council, then the people get to hear the reasoning and they get to put their input. And if we fail to have the input of the people, we fail the people. That's all I have to say. Any other discussion? There being none, let's have a roll call vote, please. Council Member Susan? Aye. Council Member Wyatt? No. Mayor Pro Tem Harris? No. Council Member Hurley? No. Mayor Ledger? Aye. That motion fails. Next item, discussion 